For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given these two equations, x squared minus y squared equals 64 and x times y equals 8, wherein x and y are both real numbers, then our goal is to find the numerical value of x plus y. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose we pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, now the key to answer this kind of question is this identity. So if we have a plus or minus b raised to the power of 2, we can expand this as follows. We have a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's get the equation x squared minus y squared equals 64. And uh, we are now ready to use this identity. So what we're going to do is to square on both sides. Now, x squared minus y squared raised to the power of 2 using this identity, we get this is equivalent to x raised to the power of 4 minus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to the power of 4th power equals 64 raised to the power of 2. Now, at this point, let's focus on this result. Alright, now x squared times y squared, we can rewrite this as xy raised to the power of 2. Now, why we do that? Because Take note that we are given that x times y must be equal to 8. So we can replace this xy with 8. And 8 raised to the power of 2, we know this is just 64. Now, let's add 2 times 64 on both sides. So we have x raised to the fourth power plus y raised to the fourth power equals 64 squared plus 2 times 64. And we found 64 in this term and a factor of 64 on the other term so we can factor out 64. So I have 64, the common factor multiplied by 64 plus 2 and 64 plus 2 is just 66. Now let's focus on this result. Now 64 times 66 we can simplify this later on because this is just equivalent to 65 minus 1 multiplied by 65 plus 1. Alright but Let's set aside this result and maybe we will use this later on. Alright. Now at this point, take note that our goal is to find the sum of x and y. So now using this identity, let's use this identity to evaluate this x squared plus y squared raised to the power of 2. If we expand this, we get x raised to the fourth power plus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to the fourth power. Now why we do that, we will see later on. Now, this x squared y squared, we can simplify this as x y raised to the power of 2. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. Why we do that? Because we have the value for x raised to the fourth power plus y raised to the fourth power. And we also have the value for x times y. So we can replace this x raised to the fourth power plus y raised to the fourth power with 64 times 66. And this xy with 8. Now let's simplify. 8 raised to the power of 2 is just 64. Now we found another common factor of 64 on these two terms. So let's factor out 64. So 64 multiplied by 66 plus 2. And 66 plus 2 is just 68. Now 64 times 68 is the value, the numerical value of x squared plus y squared raised to the power of 2. Since we want the value of x plus y, take note that we need to take the square root on both sides. So, let's factor the right-hand side by some perfect squares. And 68 is just 4 times 17. Now, 4 is a perfect square. 64 is a perfect square. So, if we multiply the two perfect squares, the result is also a perfect square. So, 64 times 4, this will give us 256. Now, we are now ready to get the square root on both sides. And take note, since the power is 2, so we have two possible results here. So we have positive or negative. Now, on the left-hand side, this is just x squared plus y squared. And on the right-hand side, square root of 256 is just 16. So we have positive or negative 16 multiplied by square root of 17. But wait a minute. Since we know that x and y are both real numbers, 
any real number raised to the power of 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation must be a positive number, a positive real number. So, x squared plus y squared cannot be a negative number. Therefore, we need to disregard this negative value of x squared plus y squared. This is just 16 multiplied by square root of 17. We have positive result only. Now, let's set aside this result. So, we now know x squared plus y squared is 16 times square root of 17. Now, finally, we cannot find the value of x plus y because x plus y raised to the power of 2 is just x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. We now know the value of x squared plus y squared and the value of x times y. Now, let's replace x squared plus y squared with 16 multiplied by square root of 17. And this xy with its value of 8. Now, 2 times 8 is simplified. 2 times 8 is 16. And we found another common factor of 16 in these two terms. So why not? Let's factor out 16. So we have 16 multiplied by square root of 17 plus 1. And now take note, we want x plus y. So let's get the square root on both sides. Again, we have an exponent of 2. So even numbers have two possible results here, positive or negative. Now on the left-hand side, this is just what we want to find. We have x plus y. And on the right-hand side, it's just positive or negative square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 17 plus 1. Now square root of 16, this is a perfect square. This is just 4. Now the question, since x and y are real number, therefore, if x is negative, then y is negative, negative plus negative, this will give us a negative real number. So it is possible to have a negative result. Therefore, we found two possible values of x plus y. This is simply equal to 4, positive or negative 4, multiplied by square root of square root of 617 plus 1. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, Given that x squared plus y squared equals 64 and xy equals 8, wherein x and y are both real numbers, then the numerical value of x plus y must be equal to positive or negative 4 multiplied by square root of 17 plus 1. And as always, we are done.